Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online Vardenfell. We are inside Vivek City in Vivek City's library. So here is where you turn in the scrolls that you find in the well tombs. Done, Outlander. Well done. And each scroll, as you can see, reveals another area of this map. So once you have all of them, just like the um, kingdom stoned back in northern elsewhere you will essentially you will a you will get an achievement b you will get a full map and probably some other stuff but i don't believe i have any to turn I in let's see more oh i do return here well, what do you know with every detail we add to our model the closer we get to discovering the location of the lost library i prepared a list of tombs you need to find refer to the note as you conduct your search I have a new rubbing for you. Wonderful. I'll decipher its portion of the clues and finalize the associated section of the diorama at once. Yeah, so you don't get to see them at it. But you can see that the one glowing, that's the new piece. Okay. Well, that was basically just to show that. I don't believe I had showed, shown it before. So... And I don't believe that this quest will take a long time, but I'm not certain of it. Let's see. So we have to report back to the Arch Cannon. Tavos. At last. Did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. Soon I'll have to muster the ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. Is that the emergency? The people want to see Lord Vivek? In part. Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? I investigated the three locations. Here's what I learned. I review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. We should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. You're just going to read the notes? I thought we could discuss what I learned. Well, Tell me what you learned at each of the locations, and let's see what conclusion we can come to. A Beryl Sar told me about Sir Thessil's experiments with divine energy. He gave me his Beryl notes. Beryl Sar faithfully served Sir Thessil. He's as loyal to the tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned. Perhaps one of the priests Vivek sent away could search the temple archives for more information. Vivek sent away all his Lord priests. Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. Only you, Canon Levuel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. Speaking of the palace, Lord Vivek wants to see you when we're done here. An Ashlander named Chodala has been inciting the so tribes. And this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the Tribunal. Even so, they rarely become aggressive. I'd say this Chodala bears watching. If we can spare it, I'll send an armager to order him. Chodala's newfound power might have something to do with the Vex. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chordala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. I have a hard time imagining how an Ashlander could accomplish such a feat. Lord Vivek said the draining has grown more well, intense since that's Europe. because the staff isn't of, Outland, uh, of Ashlander design. Cultists took over the mine outside the From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the two barrels I'll mention. 
and it seems the Ashlander themes are connected to Chodala. Your evidence points to a clear conclusion. And Chodala is using Sunarach to steal Vivek's divine so energy? It appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Just seeing you again should improve his mood considerably. And the progress you made with your investigations, outstanding. Okie dokie, talk to Vivek. See, I figured that this was likely going to be the outcome of this. So, we're probably going to get a second leg to, uh, what is that? Adventurous Wanted. Nah, don't care about it. So we're probably going to get a second leg and a destination to walk to. And we'll begin that journey in this episode. I depending on how much way. law see Lord Vivek. Vivek. Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. Yep. <laughs> he isn't receiving visitors except this visitor who's just passing by. Hello. Oop. Oh yeah, I can't jump My into Lord. that. That's right. Please, let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballad, there must be something I can do. You can call the Arch Cannon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. Uh, he knows. Hello, Vivek. Not floating so much right now. Into the sea, as my divinity flows out of me. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? I think that an Ashlander named Chodala might be responsible for your condition. An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my appreciation. And look, here comes the arch cannon now. My lord, the Outlander may have actually... After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodala has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. I mean, it's kind of obvious how to restore the power, and that is take the staff away and maybe even destroy it. But uh, you know how to restore Not its power? exactly. Yeah. yeah. But now that yeah. we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chodala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothisil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. You want me to acquire the staff called Sunara? Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodal is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. I'll go talk to Saren. Go to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. This. Without it, we can't restore the back. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Well, that was a bit of a biscuit that I have. I had hoped that our destination would rather be in the eastern perhaps northern part of Vartenfell, not back in Aldrin. Well, the good thing is that we have a, have a way right there, so I am definitely going to use it, because I am not going to walk that way again. Had it been some place new and interesting, we could talk about it. But somewhere old and already visited, Perhaps not explored fully, but already visited. Ah, right. 
Even if so. This will spare us some time and... <laughs> huh. As long as I'm not sent to Balmora once again, I should be fine. Fingers crossed. Okay. So, Seren is somewhere in here. Now, it doesn't outright say return to Aldrin, but that might just be because we've not yet reached the area. Hopefully, Seren is still fine. Talk to Sarah. Good. This way. I've yep. been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. What can I do? My to brother help? is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes. Not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. Respect the Ashlander customs and traditions. Anything else will lead to violence and bloodshed. So what do we, we do? To my brother. Try to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders. I'll follow your lead. Our What's past it? is our strength, Outlander. Oh. Why are you? The wise woman. Hmm. I was hoping she'd be well, here. Whatever her quest what was, it was. Dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the Incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. <sighs> because you weren't being an, an, a twat back then, maybe. My brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, yep. Zura put you and I yep. on the same path for a purpose. I just hope we have enough time. What's Chodala about going to, to do? to claim the title of the Nerevarine and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. If he persuaded the wise woman to his cause. Tell me about the wise woman. Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's assertion, the tribes will follow wherever he leads. Then we need Agreed. to talk to the wise woman. I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. Then I'll the head for the cavern. The northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, Hopefully, the rumbling and lava these. won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. If she accepts... On the Jordan's other side of the camera, mountain, as in... Red Mountain. What's the I cavern of the incarnate? The to believe he's Nerevar returned. That's the only thing that's really relevant. All of the previous veiled incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they await the oh. arrival of the true Nerevarian. Uh, we know about these two. Like, she don't agree with his claim to power. Where is it? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, guessing we'll have another hop. What was it? No, it's just a lantern. I thought it was a skill, a lore book, but it was not to be. It she was not to be. Use my claim. Just in case, make sure the red exiles are ready. Your word is law, Nerevarian.
So, not only is he like, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to the wise woman and be like, eh. but just in case the wise woman says no, everyone should have a dagger at their throat. What a great politician. Really swaying the public with his blades. I mean, words. Obviously. The closest we can go is Urshilaku. Let's go there. It's a lot of hopping. Probably a very little amount of progress, but what can you do when it's scheduled like this? In other, ca in other cases, in other times like this, they have been nice enough to make projections or send a messenger or any anything along those lines. I guess not here. It seems a threat from Balmora is continuing, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? All right, just dash through the camp. Doubt I'll gain anything here anyway, so. I'll try to get in as few fights as I possibly can, whilst also moving forward. That way, while it isn't much, it is still progress. I'll make no promises, though. This is Martinfell, after all. Raisins might not be a bad idea. Raisins can outrun most types of enemies. Yeah? It's a long way away, but um, well, if I'm going through here, there shouldn't be any hostiles to come and paw at my face. Kushalit Sanctuary. No, I'm not looking to get houses. Even if the view is nice. Ah, uh, Nyx Hound. Not gonna bother with those guys. I'm gonna skip the path and just skip them. No. Absolutely not. Buzz off. Overgrown pest. Oh, we need to get back on the road. Yes, this is the road. Good. So this should be unexplored territory. Can I mine in peace without those uh, those fuckers? Yeah, it seems like it. This isn't all bad. It looks relatively sheltered and nice. Forgotten Wastes. Public Dungeon. Maybe some other time. Perhaps when I have what I need from the cavern. Granted, as long as I'm not teleported out from there. No. Nope. Oh. It seems the road passes by the Forgotten Wastes. We can get the experience for discovering its location then. That works. Okay, crafting camp, which is called Sagranipal. 
So this Dwemer structure is... Is it even named? Oh! Sure! Why not? Might be a bit of fun. Not every day that you get to fight the Centurion. What do you think, Flappy? It seems fairly slow, even... So nothing of value otherwise. It was just the outskirts of Dwemer ruins, unnamed and unimportant. Well, if that isn't par for the course for most of most of Bartonfella, I don't know what is. Oh, a way shrine! Finally! This will make things a lot easier. So this is Sacra Nipal. What's making sounds as if it's attacking me? And... Experience? Now, since it's out here in the open and not enterable... Might as well see if we don't have stuff that can be... Let's see... Research? Do I have anything that need? Oh, I do! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Anything else? Mm, no. Okay. Deconstruct. Yeah, I don't need that. Wasn't part of a set either. No. Okay, where's the rest of the crafting stations here? Can I walk on this? Yes. Okay. Ninety-three pieces of... Oh, yeah, I get it from the, um... Four days left on that. That's fine. You just do your thing. Anything to deconstruct? Um, I guess not, but... Uh, that's... Booyan Damager. Off you go. Can there be treasure here? I... Maybe? I kind of doubt it. Hmm. How about a woodworking station? This is a crafting camp after all, so... Well, the view is nice. If I be a, if all be it a bit dangerous, but... Cool. Hmm. Seems it's not the only volcano that's active and spewing out stuff. Ow! Now, in fairness, that was my fault. I'll take the blame. Nothing in the urns. And barrels do nothing. At least for me. Okay. Uh, deconstruct. Nothing. Research. Got that going. Huh. I thought I had further to go with woodworking. So where? Oh, so it's up above. Right, okay, okay. Well. Hmm. Didn't find a uh, jewelry crafting stations, but um, I'm certain it will reveal itself in time. There could possibly be some tombs down here, but I'm really not looking for them. 
if I see them, sure, we can take them. This is going to make it harder for me to complete it down the line because I'll have to cross-check every single location and then go back to Vivek City. Is this one... Ah. Of all the creatures that are of repulsive nature, Nick's sounds are perhaps the worst. Fatherland ancestral to them. I do not like that they each take up a space. I'm going the wrong way. Well, it looks like a bit more lush here, so that's nice. Kush hmm. Tashpi. Nothing. Just old, unmarked, but named Daedric Ruins. Nope, not gonna bother with you guys. You can go to hell, or oblivion, or any other kind planes of existence. I do not care. But leave me alone. Stop bothering me. I go for you too. So this is actually following the end of this path. I eh, probably can't get past this guy, so I might as well fight him. This is a good chunk of experience, though. So there is that. Could you not? I said, could you not? All right. Thought I saw something of value there, but Nutschlift. Kidoki. Yeah, you can just sit on that cliff, I don't care. You're not in the way and you're not bothering me, so why should I? Azura is my shield. Scarfings. How creatures. Leave the nice lady alone. Thank you for aiding me, but I nope. sense you came for a different purpose. Let's no, no. inside the cavern. But okay, cavern of the incarnate. Still got some time. Fate is the book that she writes in to inscribe our worth and deserts. For by our acts do we earn her regard or disdain. And re- da! Ah! Stop it! Stop being so fast. Why are you running away? Come back Surely here. There must be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. Yes, you better. Not before I have looted all the lockpicks in this place. Oh, well, this look the shrine it's been as well. Strange to talk to an outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim, yeah. and she says you can help me reach the correct decision. This is about Judala and Words the Nerovarine, right? From the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe now that's that not really nice is the Nerovarine. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Yep, you're right in that regard. 
Well, probably. Isn't there a way to prove that he's Perhaps, not the Nero Green? But I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates, that might do the trick. We the thought failed the incarnates, incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the incarnates. Hmm. I see Azura's wisdom now. How do I talk to the spirits? Of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. So great! Another going back and forthy. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala. Well, ain't that just peachy? Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. They decided you weren't the Nerevarian. To fulfill the Why? prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll. And help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Oh, well, that seems a nice place to start. Can I? So, do I just have the scroll, or is it? Ooh. The Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled, and I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. What ended your quest to become the Nerevarin? must listen as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerbar. Take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. I couldn't agree more. These are reasonable dead people. That's unusual coming out of this game. And you. The coup de gras. We are the failed incarnates. The Ashlanders who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. What flaw made you fail Take to fulfill my scroll the prophecy? And help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerabar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. I don't but mind power Flabby. alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. Mortal. That was a bit of let us speak. nothing. Yeah, uh, sure. Give me lockpicks and I'll speak all that. I'm taking a dip in your pool. Now I do not want the sword. I do want this though. That's nice. I 
I first yes? saw your usefulness before you even set foot in Bardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. I commune with the Incarnus just as a wise the woman can man. wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other, and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. The staff is a source of Chodala's power. Your instincts power. serve you well. Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunara, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf and Vivex. Then go. I'll do what you ask. Return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. How do I prove that Chodala Use isn't what the familiar. incarnate shared with you? Their failures point the way toward Chodala's downfall. But beware Chodala's power. He may not be the Nerevarian, but some greater agency has lent strength to his conviction. Yeah, so basically that's saying that uh, as soon as I say, Yeah, Chodala is not the Nerevarian, Nerev uh, Chodala is going to be like, But I'm the Nerevarian if I kill you. And I'm like, eh, no, but he's probably going to kill me anyway. Well, try. Why don't you simply reveal Due the truth to, an to the ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nern. Even this casual discussion pushes the boundaries of that agreement. Instead, I must work through trusted agents, such as yourself and Saren. Why are you helping Vivek? I thought you and the helping tribunal were that enemies. arrogant imposter? Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Vardenfell must stand. Everything I do in this regard serves that single goal. Best that you remember that, mortal. Well, uh, that was a bunch of nothing. Okay. Well, fortunately, that means we have to go uh, oh, all the way back. I mean, there is a way to so I'm not... I'm not that peeved about it, still. I kind of had figured something like this was going to happen, and I don't like it. Like, teleport me out of here, or call a projection, or something or other. But this back and forthy, that's not good writing for making quests. It makes me annoyed. Then I'm not enjoying the lore. And I want to enjoy the lore. That's what got me into this game, this series, in the first place. Oh well. I will meet you in Aldrun in the next episode. So until then, take Yeah.